Hey there, welcome! Today I'm going to show how you can use the Google Assistant to its fullest potential. So, let's begin! To start, I recommend that you open the Google Assistant settings on your phone and enable the Hey Google voice match. Now, let me show you the first cool uh, option of the Google Assistant you might have not known about. So if you didn't know, you can absolutely use your Google Assistant from the lock screen. So you will not need to unlock the screen if you have a set password. Just wake your screen up and this will be enough. So let's begin by enabling this option once again we'll need to go into the google assistant settings here then go into the lock screen and enable the assistant responses on lock screen option now should we lock the screen we should be still able to launch the google assistant so let's try hey google and as you can see it launches itself from the lock screen uh, the convenient and useful example once this feature might come in handy is when you have your smartphone in the pocket and you would like to ask Google Assistant something very quickly. You do not have time to input your password. Just press the mm, side power button and well, voice your request. Hey Google. Hey Google. What is the traffic like now in Krakow? There's light traffic in Krakow. Or, for example, if you want to quickly check the weather, you can also do that from your lock screen. So, hey Google, show me the weather, please. It's 23 and partly cloudy. Tonight, the forecast is for a high of 21 and a low of 13 and mostly cloudy. So that's how you can use the Google Assistant from your lock screen. Moving on, you can also use your Google Assistant to uh, interact with your system and with your phone. For example, if you would like to quickly put your smartphone into the airplane mode, just say, hey Google, enable the airplane mode. Mode on. And as you could have seen, the airplane mode gets activated right away. You can deactivate it the same. So, for example, hey Google, switch off the airplane mode. And well, that, you'll have to turn off airplane mode. Sometimes, and especially on the older phone like this Nokia phone I have in front of me, uh, it will just uh, bring up the prompt from which you can switch off the airplane mode or whatever is that you would like to change. Like that. Or you can also, for example, ask it to switch off Bluetooth or switch on the Bluetooth. So, hey Google, switch off the Bluetooth. Turning Bluetooth off. And as you can see, the Bluetooth has been deactivated. Um, what else you can do this way? You can launch the display category of settings, for example. So, hey Google, open the display category of settings. Opening display. Here you have it. Or you can enable adaptive brightness or just overall interact with your system and with your phone in a much more convenient way just by saying what you would like for it to do. Next, you can also, well, ask it to produce a sound or to make a sound if you lost your phone somewhere nearby. Uh, for example, you've been sitting on a couch and the phone got, uh, has gotten sucked into it and you are struggling to find it. Uh, as long as you know like the approximate area that you have lost your phone in, just and while well, you have the Google Assistant and Hey Google voice match enabled, of course, you can just say, Hey Google, where are you? I'm in the cloud, but I'm also always here when you need me. And by hearing the sound it will make, you can 
uh, locate where you have lost your device. As simple as that. Another interesting use case I wanted to share with you in this video is that you can streamline the interaction with your favorite apps. Uh, and what I mean by that is that you can, for example, say, hey, Google, open a new conversation in messages or, uh, I don't know, uh, set up the new event in the Google Calendar app and something like that. And also, in order to see which apps support this feature, all that you got to do is say, hey, Google, show my shortcuts opening app shortcuts and here you'll find what shortcuts are available or enabled should i rather say and in order to see the full list of uh, options that you have an access to just open your shortcuts list find what shortcut you would like to well set up or enable here or you can find them here as well uh, so here is the list of all apps that support this feature. So if we'll go, for example, into YouTube, you might enable any or all of those shortcuts here. For example, let's go with uh, YouTube history and enable it or make it active. And now we got to just say, hey, Google, YouTube history. So let's try it out. Hey, Google, YouTube history. And here is my YouTube history. Let's get to the shortcuts menu once again. Hey Google, show my shortcuts. Opening app shortcuts. And for example, let's also enable the shortcuts for messages. And the only one that is available is new conversation. So let's try it out. Hey Google, new conversation. And as you can see, the Messages app gets launched and the uh, conversation creation menu is in front of you also. Now let's move to the final uh, option and or function of the Google Assistant you might have not known about. And the one that I wanted to share with you is that Google Assistant can support multiple languages. So if you speak more than one language, you can just go into the Google Assistant settings once again then open the languages and add whatever language you would like to have as an extra. So I'll go with Polish, for example. And now I have, uh, or should I say my Google Assistant speaks two languages, English and Polish. So let's uh, try the Polish uh, request out. So, hey Google, otwórz ustawienia. which translates into, hey Google, open settings. And as you can see, the settings or the settings app has been successfully launched here. And well, as far as this video goes, that'll be it guys. So if you have any questions, suggestions, or overall, you just have anything to say, just use the comment section below this video. As for now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.